Good morning, how the devil are you? Well, excellent, me too, thanks very much for asking, apart from this horrible weather that's outside. I got Max dropped off this morning, came home, I've done loads of work, did a really cool uh, live session as well, a Q&A live session on Facebook. Then after that it's been a bunch of editing, keeping up with some clients, making sure they're happy with some of the work that I've done recently. And uh, now I'm on my way to Southampton, uh, working with the guys over at Mozo Coffee on a time lapse of a really special project, really, really cool. And um, we're going to go over and change the batteries and all that kind of stuff in the cameras that are currently capturing the time lapse where they're capturing it. Can't say any more on that, it's top secret. But yeah, let's get ourselves to Southampton. <laughs> It's been a manic one. Didn't really obviously get a chance to film while I was down at Mozo Coffee because it is a top secret project, but I'll tell you all about it some further down the line. It's a really cool one, good fun to work on. Uh, I'm gonna finish off the day in this beautiful location, Audley Inglewood over in Hungerford. It's the first bigger, brighter boulder after the summer break. And uh, yeah, everybody's down here. They're moving everybody all into one group. So it's gonna be a big group of people. Uh, should be a good evening and um, yeah, just dropped Max off with Susanna and I'm going to go in there and get myself a coffee because, frankly, I'm knackered. But um, it's going to be a long night. We're here until about half nine, maybe ten o'clock. So, yeah, let's get ourselves inside, find a comfy chair and settle in for a long winter's nap. That's probably not the right words to use. <laughs> So yeah, this morning was an interesting one. Um, spent a lot of time chasing up invoices, sending some invoices out, and uh, doing some of the stuff that I hadn't done myself. So admittedly, it wasn't anybody else's fault but my own that some of the invoices haven't even been sent or created. So I've done all of that this morning. Um, and yeah, there comes a point when you're running a small business that you need to outsource stuff, but it's that point where you're like, well, I don't have enough money coming in, but I need to outsource stuff to make sure that it happens so that I have enough money coming in. So for example, this kind of thing, maybe I need somebody to do my invoicing for me, somebody to do bookkeeping for me, that kind of stuff. But then I have to pay for a bookkeeper and I can't afford that. So it's kind of, right, okay, when do I take that leap and replace that money with another job? So that the time I spent doing my bookkeeping and invoicing is replaced by work. So yeah, it's, um, it's a difficult one, but um, I think I'm gonna have to start thinking about taking that leap at some point or another. Um, and just make life a little bit easier on myself so that all the invoicing I forget to do doesn't get forgotten because somebody else is doing it for me. Anyway, this afternoon to try and chill out a little bit while well, I left the computer doing a load of stuff for me at home, it's uploading some files for some, uh, some clients. I'm going to go and hit the gym, do a chess session, and I'm going to go pop this in my old landlady and then collect Max. So, in that order, let's get started. <laughs> Hello, that breakfast there is meant for you, but shall we watch what happens when it goes anywhere near your face? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 uh, uh, uh. no, no chance. He's been in his chair for the last hour and he ain't gonna eat. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days. 
so you may notice the bottom of the playpen is currently outside drying. There is a reason for that. The little boy who's asleep at the moment had a very explosive nappy. Very explosive. So explosive, it's shower him off in the bath and just hope for the best explosive. Uh, bless him and his cotton socks. Uh, everything needed to be changed and um, there was rather a lot of stuff, <coughs> shall we put it that way, in the bottom of the playpen which is why I've showered it off, I've put it outside to dry, hopefully he'll have a sleep and by the time he wakes up that will be dry and we can put it all back together again and then we can play in there. Um, but I'm just grateful at the moment that he's having a sleep. So we've been playing all morning, it's now lunchtime, we're both having the same thing chicken, sweet corn and carrots, but something different I've done for Max is I've made him some special baby gravy, which I know sounds wrong, but um, I got the recipe online, I'll try and find the, uh, the website, but basically it uses very low fat, um, very low salt, sorry, callow stock cubes, they're ideal for babies apparently, and you mix it with um, a, tablespoon, a teaspoon of flour, a teaspoon of um, some butter, uh, unsalted butter, and a tea, uh, just like a little smattering of herbs and, and um, some garlic granules. Then obviously the colour stock itself, mix it all up and you end up with like a little gravy so that when he's eating like things like chicken, it's not so dry. Because obviously it can get quite dry even if you cook it to its best. It can be a bit boring. So I've added it on and he absolutely loves it, don't you? You absolutely love it. So here we go. Let's uh, see if we can prove it on camera because Mostly, normally, Max, when he's going to have food, shakes his head. Are we ready? Up and wide. Up and wide. Come on. Ah. No. No, you're going to prove me wrong. Prove me wrong on camera. No. Ah. Ah. There we go. Good boy. Yes. He doesn't normally eat this well. So I'm pretty happy that we're nearly all the way through this. So yeah, thumbs up to the recipe with the Callow Stock Cube. Thank you very much, you're a bit of a lifesaver. Right then, we have come to Newbury, uh, Max and I. The weather is a bit sucky, but we've come to Newbury for one reason, and one reason only. Uh, my mum is coming to stay for the weekend, so uh, we're going to wait here, and uh, she's going to drive in, she's going to take my parking space, and we're going to head off to Andover and uh, have a nice weekend. Although the weather is a bit crap, and we were meant to go to Kew Gardens this weekend. Might get rained off, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll decide tomorrow, but the weather is a bit crap. But anyway, so yes, we're in Newbury, Max and I, uh, we're going to go grab a brew because she's about an hour away and then uh, come back and shift the car. Haha, <laughs> I need me one of these prams, an adult version, so I can stay nice and dry, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> 
and welcome to Monday. What a glorious day it is today. Daddy daycare day, looking after Max today. So he's here, we're in Newbury. We've just chopped off Susanna, mummy at work today. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna get some work done myself as well because uh, one of my clients has asked me to come in and do a little bit of a video edit for them. So Max and I are gonna go in there. He's gonna play. I'm gonna work for a couple of hours, hopefully two hours and not three hours trying to look after him in between. But uh, we're gonna get the edit done and then we're gonna have the rest of the day to ourselves do whatever we wanna do in the sunshine. So, so far so good. It's been a good start of the day. Just been down at Media Fusion. Max was as good as gold, which is excellent. That's what we like. And uh, we got all, well, not all the work done, but we got some of the work done that we need to get done. And now we're heading back to our car. We're gonna go see my mate Pete, who uh, lives in Newbury, he's also a videographer. We're gonna go catch up and say hello to him. So today's been an excellent day for Daddy Daycare. No work done still, because I've been playing with this little one, but it has been a good day for Daddy Daycare. He's not kicked off, he's been of good mood. I've uh, got that little bit of work done this morning with Media Fusion, more to come from that particular project. But uh, yeah, he's been a good as gold little boy all day. And so we've just been to the park to celebrate him being a good boy. And now he's watching the buses go through the estate we're going home for dinner. Excellent to meet you, thank you very much for asking. Another gloriously sunny day here in the UK in sunny Newbury. No Daddy Dare today. He's been dropped off of the Childminders. I've had a good gym session. I feel alive, I feel awake, and I've got a load of work to get cracking on too. So I'm gonna get myself down to Harrison's, order myself one of the finest flat whites, sit down and crack into some editing. home after collecting his highness royal highness max who is sat in his throne waiting for me to take him upstairs with his beautiful blue eyes that everybody keeps talking about yeah after your daddy
crikey, what a day it has been hectic and it's still only two o'clock. I got loads of work done this morning, dropped off Sam, uh, dropped off Sam? Who's Sam? That's my nephew. Dropped off Max uh, with the childminder and then and, um, yeah, got to Newbury and just cracked into work. Head down to Harrison's and I've only just left now, just after two o'clock. Going to quickly pop and see my old landlady, uh, hit the gym and then go home, get a bit more work done before going to pick up Max, uh, who is now going to be known as Sam. I don't know why. Why did that name pop into my head? No idea. Anyway, I'm going to go do that first and I'll see you guys at the gym. So then, it's been a crazy busy day. Finally just back home after picking up the Prince. He's there, probably asleep. Can't really tell. I think he is. Anyway, um, I've got a load of work to do tonight. Uh, some prep work. I am uh, doing a drone job tomorrow uh, with Pete from Dudley Films. And so, gonna go and sort the drone out, make sure everything's okay, everything's fully charged, all ready to go all updated on the apps and all that kind of stuff and uh, print out my risk assessment as well because it's a big thing when it comes to doing a drone job is making sure you do a pre-flight risk assessment make sure you ask the right questions to ensure that the area is safe to fly all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah so got to go and get all that printed out and um, yeah make some dinner as well because Susanna will be home from work soon and she'll be expecting dinner on the table <laughs> then didn't get a chance to close out the vlog last night was busy preparing uh, all my gear for um, a drone job that I'm doing today which we'll talk about in tomorrow's video uh, but anyway thank you as always for watching uh, been a very busy day today uh, loads of stuff got done um, but none of it particularly exciting for you to watch just me going pretty much to Harrison's working my arse off meeting up with George doing more work getting home doing more work Picking up Max, going home, doing more work. The life of a small business owner. Um, getting lots and lots of content out at the moment uh, and also creating some really great content for some of my clients as well. Uh, Rachel from Indie Beauty uh, delivers, George at Bigger Bright at Boulder, uh, also uh, Barry at BGM, Barry the Gas Man. Uh, some really cool content going out at the moment for those guys. So uh, if you are in the Newbury area or follow any of their content, keep your eyes peeled because some of it's going to be mine. So yes. Anyway, right, I'm going to uh, say goodnight. Thank you very much for watching. If you're brand new, please do subscribe. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Sweet dreams and be healthy. Have a good one. Morning. How the devil are you? Well, excellent. Me too. Thank you very much for asking. It is going to be another glorious summer's day in the UK. Apparently we are due a late summer this year. So uh, we had a pretty good one in July. August has been a bit hit and miss with rain and there. Uh, but apparently um, towards the end of August, which is now, and uh, all the way through September we're going to have um, a late summer. So that should be nice. Uh, temperatures apparently today are going to reach about 23, 24 degrees. It's like we're doing a weather forecast. Anyway, uh, which is good because uh, today I am doing a drone job. Um, we are off to Stanmore, um, which is near Elstree. It's a, a, a business, a company who are owned by Stryker, who are a new based company, an American based company, a like worldwide based company basically, um, and I'm doing some filming with Peter Cook, uh, a friend of mine who runs a company called Dudley Films and does all sorts of filming for the guys at Stryker doing surgery filming and all that kind of stuff, um, and today I'm doing some drone work for him. I'm not flying a drone in a surgery. I'm flying a drone over a building where they're building plants and stuff like that. So um, that's going to be a cool job today. And um, yeah, then the rest of the day we'll see where it takes us. But it's going to be an interesting one. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah, let's get ourselves to Newbury and uh, pack our car up at Pete's and get ourselves on our way. Hopefully grab a coffee as well because I could really kill for a coffee. I've not had one yesterday. And um, yeah. As you will well know if you've followed these vlogs for a while, I function better off several coffees. Cool, blimey, what a day! It's been a long one, uh, loads of work obviously done, 
uh, with Pete and I filming over at Stanmore and at Stanmore Hospital. <coughs> very, very busy day indeed. Well worth doing it though. The drone footage looks pretty cool as well, even if I do so myself. Oh, and it was a rush to get home, but Pete got me back just in time, and so I am here to come and pick up Max. So I'm going to go get him and get ourselves home. I feel grotty and grim, and I cannot wait to have a shower, because I'm sure I stink. <laughs> Morning, how the devil are you? Well, excellent, me too, thank you very much for that. No, that's an absolute hour and out lie. I'm not fine at all. This wee devil, this one here, don't you be looking all cute, uh, kept Susanna and I up all night last night, uh, to the point where I ended up sleeping on the floor in his bedroom, because he was being an utter nightmare. Up every single hour, trying to kill us, slowly but surely, through lack of sleep. Um, and no real particular reason for it. Wasn't hungry, wasn't his teeth, I don't know. Anyway, Susanna unfortunately woke up today with the worst migraine in the world, so she's off work. He continued to scream through most of the morning, so we've decided to come out to Newbury for a picnic. Susanna's got to work tomorrow anyway, so I need to go and collect the keys for her so she can get to work. And uh, today is a write-off, there is not going to be any business work done well at least during the day until he goes to sleep uh, then this evening i might try and get some done might try and work through the whole night and uh, get a load of work done before i have to collapse into bed but um yeah no business work done today at all in any way shape or form we're just going to go and enjoy the sunshine because it is a glorious day and uh yeah have some food so come and join us for a picnic at victoria park in newbury yeah. You've done well so far. You've eaten a whole sausage and some pasta and some sweet corn and some apple, haven't you? Hey. Okay. You're gonna go for a bit of a pop to see what you can find. Come on. Come on, you go see what you can find. So we can't get hats to stay on Max's head. So I'm hoping maybe a baseball cap. No, not to, no to a baseball cap. Do we not like baseball caps? No. No. How about I plunk that there? So they can see kind of. If you get that on your head. Like that. Yes! Yes! Now that is cool. What do you reckon? You can see yourself in the mirror. There you are. So it's currently really quiet, which means one of two things. He's either really tired, which is exactly what I hope it is, or he's just not a dumb and he likes lying in warm stuff. He's a strange child. Well done. You've never fed yourself before. Go on, have some more milk from your bottle. You don't need to wave it at the camera. Go on, yeah, good lad. Well done indeed never done that before so that's an achievement because he's normally too lazy to hold the bottle himself paying the piper properly in 2009 because we're soft as a culture and so this is a very fake entrepreneur oh my word this is just what the doctor ordered this sunshine was much needed uh, been dying for some sun kind of like a holiday break not able to really afford one this year but this is just what the doctor ordered and it's a long weekend as well the, uh, the last bank holiday of the year before Christmas and we get 30 degree sunshine. How good is that Max? Is that pretty good? You're there in the shadows? Yes. Pretty awesome. Uh, we are just wandering down to uh, Susanna's work in Newbury. We're going to go collect her. She finishes at one o'clock. She's working half a day today and then we're just going to go and enjoy the sunshine. Uh, we're going to take Max swimming down at the pool later on as well because uh, he enjoys that and um, yeah just get the bank holiday weekend off to a good start and make the most of it because who knows next week we could have hail snow a hurricane you just never know in this country you really don't
Can we not eat my phone? Please. Oh. <laughs> Where are we today then, Max? We have come to Kingston Lacey. There's the house over there. It's a glorious day. And mummy's got pack lunch. So where's Max? Where is he? Oh, there he is. There's Max. So then after a day at Kingston Lacey, the sunshine is still out, so we decided to head down to uh, Lindhurst in the New Forest and take this wee man to visit the horses. If you've never been to the New Forest, there's loads and loads of wild horses all over the whole area and uh, they're always like, like amalgamate at the end of the day in Lindhurst where they have water troughs and stuff like that. Is yours? Morning, how the devil are you? Excellent, us too, thank you very much for asking. We've come to Newbury, it's a gloriously sunny day, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna go swim inside, because it's uh, swimming time for Max. We like to take him swimming once a week, and uh, yeah, we wanna get him in the pool and uh, get him wet and get his head under. Food time. No, thank you. Can I have my bottle back, please? Thank you. You're taking mummies now. Or are you having my McCoys? Yeah? Oh, they make a good noise, don't they? Bye, spider baby. Are you not getting your own way? No. You're not getting your own way. <laughs> 